Who cares if I'm pretty if I fail my finals? Serious business, okay? As an engineering student, final season is no joke. Very serious, okay? It's serious business, especially because all my exams weigh a lot. But my first final is tomorrow, Friday. I'm taking five classes. I have four finals. They all kind of don't have that much space between them. It's kind of like two days. The last two are back to back. It's all within like seven days exactly. I start on a Friday, I end on a Friday. So it's like, I don't know. Like this final season, I'm like suspiciously not stressed. Like I'm very zen, I'm very chill. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've also been spending the past couple of days just in my house, just rotting in bed studying till like 2 a.m i don't think it's been good for me so today we're going to campus i'm not going to the library because the library is just bad vibes like, welcome to an engineering finals week in my life will i finish these finals or will these finals finish me keep watching to find out <laughs> guys final season this semester was scary like terrifying and it's mostly because my exams just weighed so much like i'm talking 40 50 percent of my grade it was a bit crazy and everything happened so fast because the end of the term was just so hectic you know with finishing assignments and projects and midterms i don't even know why they're called midterms if they happen at any time during the term except for the middle but i really just struggled to actually start studying for finals because you know final season is just these cumulative exams for all of your courses and a good deal of them i'm already behind in so it's just it's very hard to kind of like just pick myself up and start i basically start by writing every single thing i need to do every single day of final season on my digital calendar and i'm not gonna lie it looks a bit crazy but i promise guys it keeps me grounded i find that giving some attention to multiple courses every day and breaking up my tasks makes it less intimidating and allows me to divide my time according to priority but another thing that helps me set expectations for final season is the grades spreadsheet that i've been using since first year and i basically just put all my assignments and tests in it how much they're worth and i put in how i did and then i calculate my mark for me and i use it throughout the term to see how i'm doing and i guess for a final specifically it helps me to know how high the stakes are so i can set goals because sometimes i think not knowing the implication can be a bit dangerous and i don't know i like to know the numbers and the details that's just the kind of person that i am but i can understand why this might not work for someone else because it can get a bit toxic when i spend a good amount of time calculating how badly i could do in an exam and it would still be okay so while it helps me to set expectations and goals it also kind of does the opposite but i think i had to learn a healthy balance to make sure that it doesn't do more harm than good as we're taking a study break to go get some chick-fil-a yeah my bun is falling off my head song of the day what is that some uncle waffles period we've been locked in for like five hours now so yeah well deserved break Shake. And I was like, mm, maybe I'll get fries. Here I am, home meal. Home, home meal. meal. They even give us free nuggets. Everyone's carrying a whole bag. Everybody. Everyone's carrying a whole bag. <laughs> you greedy children. Is for cooked. C's for what? Cooked. C's for what? Cooked. I'm hoping I get a C. <laughs> I just left the library. I'm gonna go home now and call my friends. And we're gonna continue studying until like maybe three, and then we'll try and go to bed. I'm actually very stressed. I've been so chill, and my anxiety just kicked in. Like it just kicked in today, and I'm actually like on edge. And I'm gonna be on edge for the rest of this video. But it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be fine. Everything is gonna work out. I'm gonna be on summer break and I'm gonna be happy. Whew. 
I don't know guys, I'm scared. It's 3.46 and our exam is by 9.30 a.m. I don't know how I feel about this exam, but I'm just, I'm very at peace with the fact that like, it's just over with and um, I hate this course so much and I'm so happy to be done with it. Like, I'm gonna go to bed and try and get like three hours of sleep, give or take. Good morning, rise and shine. It's too early. How many hours are we running off? Three. Three hours or sleep. less. Hope this exam goes well. No, literally. But I was trying to eat breakfast and I got so nauseous, like I had to stop. Like I was just like oh. too stressed. So oh. it's exam time. Well, it's actually not exam time. I don't know why they're so excited. It's 9.16, exam is 9.30, but like, do we even, do we use calculators for this exam? Girl, no. But we don't yeah, need we them. We are allowed, but like, we're we not, but we, we don't need them because like, they don't give us numbers. There's no numbers. Guys, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know what just happened, but it's happened. Cheers to finishing that exam. Cheers. Did I finish the exam? What did the exam finish, finish me? me? I'm drenched in sweat. Like, my hair is soaked, my face is soaked, my body is soaked. That was crazy. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, but that means nothing because I have to study for my next final. That is on Monday. My friend just told me that it's snowing. It's not like actually snowing, it's just kind of like sprinkling snow, but like that's a bit crazy considering it's literally April. I'm kind of happy that my next exam is stats because I feel like stats, like when I'm studying it, like it makes sense. So I feel good about studying it. Like even though the exam might end up being hard or anything like that, like at least like while I'm studying, I have motivation because I feel like I actually understand it. Interrupting the study session that we've not started <laughs> to go print out our cheat sheet, yes. eight sheet, formula sheet, whatever you want to call it. Here. And then we're gonna lock in. We're gonna get ice cream. Are we getting ice cream? Yes, we are we're getting, getting ice, cream. ice cream, and then we're gonna lock in. Then we're gonna lock in. We're gonna be serious, okay? No rest for the wicked, and I am the wicked. <laughs> the sun is out, guys. The sky so is awake, beautiful. so I'm awake. So we have to play. <laughs> Guys, see how gloomy and dark they got. It's not even been an hour. This is the worst ice cream I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Same. So underwhelming. Ew, the cone, guys. Wait, you <laughs> No way the cone is bad, too. No, no like, way the cone is bad. One major change that I made during this final season was switching up my study environment. I realized that I didn't like studying in my room at home because it just was really dark and felt very claustrophobic. But I also didn't like studying in the library that I always went to because it just drained my energy every single day, just bad vibes and struggling to find a seat. So I decided to switch up my study spot for this final season. My friends and I studied in this different building that we found and it had barely any people in it throughout the final season. And it was so much more productive and comfortable in there. And we found this room on the top floor and it had a nice view and really good natural lighting. And there were only three or four of us in the room at all times. So it was a lot quieter too. So I would say if you ever find yourself feeling stagnant, switch up your study spot. 
now let's talk about the stats course that i was studying for guys this course was so funny to me it was just very content heavy and i mean we covered so many topics and studying over 30 lectures just for like five topics to come out is always just very annoying and this class had a 50 percent final so it was basically the entire course and we had two midterms that were 25 each so the entire course was just exam based and it's just very scary because there's no room for mistakes and we're allowed like two double-sided eight sheets but only the formulas and their names were allowed on it and thinking about it two double-sided eight sheets is a lot of formulas for one exam but i guess that really puts into perspective how much knowledge i had to retain for this exam the kids in the hope they cut us what are you like or not i want to show you up i want to show you up I want to show no, you. Whoa, whoa. Like, I want to show you. I want to show you up. Um, we're back home now. It's like 11.51. It's almost 12. Preferably would like to finish um, writing my second cheat sheet before I go to bed. So however long that takes is however long I'll be awake. It's time to lock in. I'm done with my first cheat sheet. This one they actually printed for us. I just needed to like go through all the content and like annotate them. But now I have to make my second cheat sheet for like the second half of the course. so it's basically sunday i haven't vlogged at all today it's 9 42 p.m and i just took a shower but basically i didn't do any studying all day i'm gonna put an all nighter because my exam is by 6 p.m tomorrow basically been on a call with my friend and we're just like studying together and everything it's gonna be a long night but i have eaten i have showered and i have my advil so we're gonna lock in tonight and hopefully i don't like give up at like 2 a.m because i see that happening but we're gonna try our best <laughs> procrastination is a disease and we need to cure it in 2024 and this is where having an accountability partner comes in you see my good friend lulu throughout this video but having her with me throughout final season was very key to my sanity and when i wasn't with her physically i was on the phone with her or i was on the phone with my other engineering friends in other universities who had finals as well and we keep each other on track we make sure that we're sticking to our plans but we also rant you know we complain to each other we also explain concepts to each other we remind each other that it's actually not that deep and i guess it's just reassuring to know that you're not alone it also introduces a level of commitment you know because you know someone else is counting on you to show up and stay focused and it adds an extra layer of motivation to push through that procrastination it could be a friend it could be a classmate it could be someone from another school i think having some sort of support system makes a huge difference and sometimes even makes it enjoyable guys how many hours later and i just finished writing both of my cheat sheets i'm so tired like i'm actually seeing double like my eyes are so blurry i don't know if i should do practice questions now or go to bed i think i've been looking at screens for like too long i don't know what to do i might honestly just sleep do them when i wake up i don't know good morning guys um my all-nighter was not very successful but like i didn't actually end up needing to all-nighter because i technically did everything i wanted to do yesterday so it's like almost 2 p.m my exam is by 6 30 p.m i want to do a couple past exams and yeah just call it a day like i'm so ready to just write this exam and just free my mind from this course and just move on and be closer to the end but yeah i think um lulu is gonna come over and we're gonna like study here and then around like five six we'll go to campus for our exam Exactly. Just give me a matcha. That's all. And we can discuss. <laughs>
Okay guys, so it's six. We're gonna go to campus now for our exam. Wish us luck. And hopefully we do great. Mo's over there writing her essay that's due at midnight that she should have probably done since, but you know. It'd be like that. Guys, I don't know what's happening in this city, but there's like people everywhere. I think the subway isn't working or something, so the streetcar is not an option. So we will be walking. And that's exactly it's 6 13. Our exam is 6.30, but we're okay. So, um... Uh, uh, that just happened. Guys, that exam was something serious. Something serious. My teacher chose violence. I don't know why he chose violence because he's usually not that mean. And it was 50% of my grade. So when I say I don't care, like I'm just happy it's done. Like I just tore tore my cheat sheets into pieces because I never want to see any of these formulas ever again in my life. Like I don't care. I got myself some rewards for, you know, successfully completing that exam. Successfully is debatable, but completing the exam. This is not okay. For my bio final, this was definitely one of my favorite classes this term. And I had done really good in the course thus far, so I wasn't really stressed about this particular final exam. And since it was mostly memorization, I did a lot of active recall on writing things down and just repeating things to myself enough until I was certain that I would not forget. One of the most effective strategies I found for studying for this final was teaching the material to someone else. This not only reinforced my understanding, but also helped me identify gaps in my knowledge. I used a whiteboard to write out everything that I studied in extreme detail, and then I would explain it to my friend as if I was a teacher. Another benefit of this is that it helps to build confidence. When you can explain a topic clearly and correctly to someone else, you can be sure that you really understand it. I was a lot happier studying for this exam as this course is closely related to my intended major as well. And it was just nice studying for an exam without crying and stressing throughout for a change. The fact that second year of uni is over is so insane to me. I can't believe how quickly the time has passed. It feels just like yesterday that I was starting the school year and moving into my first apartment. And now here I am, technically halfway through my degree. This year was full of highs and lows, failures and passes, but I've learned so much about myself and I'm very grateful for that. I've discovered strengths that I didn't know I had and faced challenges that tested my limits. But I've come to understand that growth often comes from the struggles that we face and the perseverance that we muster to overcome them. I think sometimes I don't give myself enough credit though. And comparison really is the thief of joy. But now at the end of another school year, I'm reminded that this journey is uniquely mine. I'm learning to be proud of myself. And in this very moment, I definitely am. Just finished bio and that exam guy. <laughs> four plus four. Is what? Eight. Eight.